So, you know, it doesn't really get too bad under some of these because they've got fans that are blowing the air and turning that air or that water drops, those water drops into humidity so that the big AC unit can take it out. But you see it is happening here. fans right here. So we could definitely use some fans here. So we need to get up there and see what they have for fans and ventilation on top of these cases. And there's the big AC unit right there. We'll look at that a little bit more in a little while. I hate getting this freaking ladder because it's so fiberglassy. Uh, it's a good ladder, you know. I just I need to pick up some clear coat and uh, give it another whatever you call it, another layer of clear coat. All right, let's find us a good little spot to set the ladder. Probably right here behind that blue one and gray one. So here we have fans that are fighting each other. We got the fans down underneath on the bottom that are blowing into the bottom. And then here we got these fans that are blowing down there so those fans are opposing each other. I don't know if that makes any difference or not. But So all these fans are working, you know, so if all these fans are working, I wonder if, if I take those fans out that are underneath here, put them over there, if it would allow it to breathe better under this case and then I can ventilate over there. It looks like we got some over there too, see? But yeah, see, it's, it's not even really that bad yet, but this... This means that they're gonna have to replace them soon. It's just, you know, it's just the way it is. They're old. Pretty soon, this will start turning to ice. We have little ice globs up here. So yeah, the problem they're having on this work order is that it's 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 a hazard. It's a hazard to the customers. The wet floors and the water's coming up from between the tiles. As the basket goes over the tiles, it comes out from the little seams. And you know, the real problem is that some people don't even think. Like, look at where that's blowing. It's, it's blowing to nothing. It's hitting a wall. They could have at least done it like, like that, perhaps. They want to do some good. But no, we have people who don't even think coming out here to install stuff. I'm up to the other side now. And of course, this doesn't help with the water issues. Oh, look here, here we have it. Ice already forming. See? It's already happening. So it's pretty clear. This store, they've been having problems for a while already. So this isn't something new. Somebody's had to come up here and install these fans and the fans down below and put this, this uh, plywood deck you know, so there's been some work out here. Man, we 
got some people who really ain't thinking, guys. These blades, these aren't even turning the right direction. Look. Look. Look at how they scoop the air. See? Okay, look. They're not even turning the right direction, man. My God. They're not scooping air. That's so stupid. Let me guess. Okay, good. Well, they, at least they don't have all of them like that. I'm sure all of you know how a blade is supposed to be. Alright, well, so we don't have any fans down here doing anything. I think that it would be smarter and it would work better if we had those fans down here that were blowing inward and then they could all vent up. We had a power outage a little bit ago and when that happened it took my fan out up there. I had to restart it, the motor starter. So here's our air handler. Oh, so much pressure. Yeah, can't even open it. Ridiculous. Looks like only one circuit's working. For some reason. A little bit ago, the computer said it was 84% humidity in there. Let's see if that's changed any. Hey, it's gone down to 80. That's good. That's good. Yep. I don't know what we got in here. Other fans that do something else. I'm not exactly sure what. Looks like they feed a different space or they feed this space or maybe it's fresh air. I don't know. Not sure. Here's our compressors for the AC. Compressor 2 is off. Looks like the breaker's off. I'm not gonna mess, I'm not gonna turn that on. I don't know why they got it off. And we got this circuit that's uh, not a full column of liquid. So there's a lot going on here that's causing the floor to condensate the way it is. Hey, I got it open. Big fuckers. Big fucker. Probably got a leak around here somewhere because the only place this goes is to that coil in that air handler over there. Might be worth looking. Here's our return. We're inside the return. That's the store over there. Yeah, I think this is, uh, and this is already cold right here. That's gotta be some dehumidifier maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause that's cold. It's nice. All right, so here's the deal. I don't know how long that fan was out. So we were at 83% humidity in there, 84% humidity, and it went down to 80 after about an hour. So for all I know, it's been sweating like this here the last couple days. Maybe the fan's been off the whole time. I'm not sure. I didn't see it before. So I'm going to let the fan run and probably come back in a couple days and see how far my humidity level has come down. Uh, 
after that because I need to get a good a baseline of how humid the store is because 80% is too high. So I was just analyzing. Hope y'all enjoyed the journey. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.